I've had two experiences I have to tell you about. My character would sit in a chair down front and in her mind she's reliving her youth and I would just keep focused, you know, straight ahead. One night I'm sitting in the chair and all of a sudden I hear, Psst, Psst, Leslie, Psst, <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, this is theater. Don't try to get my attention. I'm not Leslie Uggles. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Finally, they got the hint that I was not going to say, hey, what's happening? <laughs> Only in live theater could this happen. Then another night, we had a situation where we were doing the scene, Jason, and, and, the, and where he confronts me because he's so upset I'm not the perfect person that he thought I was. And all of a sudden we hear strange noises happening. I guess from the emotion that was running high that we had a guy who was with his family, it triggered a, an epileptic fit. We had to stop the show. We were scared, is he going to be all right? And they took him out and it was the last five minutes of the show. Now what do you do? And it was so frightening that I got hysterical and a couple other people, we were backstage and we were all like, and was the person gonna be all right? But then the rest of the audience was like, uh, I hope they're coming back to finish the play. <laughs> and it was like the payoff scene in the moment. And they sat there and of course, then we had to get our heads together and get ourselves back back into uh, the scene on stage. And we did it and the, the people went wild. But only in live theater can you get these wonderful things that, that happen between the actors and the, and, and the audience, you know?